Hey guys, this is your DM Alex coming to you live from Comic Emporium. Today is the uh, trivia contest for Doctor Who. Uh, so I am going to be uh, reading the questions and following up with answers. Feel free to play along in the comments. Um, Got to be here in person to win though, but uh, still we could have some fun. All right, so for all of our Whovians out there, let's get started. All right, now question number one. When Doctor Who first meets little Amelia outside after he crashes the TARDIS, what food does he ask for? One more time. When Doctor Who first meets little Amelia outside after he crashes the TARDIS, what food does he ask for? The answer is an apple. Yeah, see, after the 10th Doctor regenerates into the 11th incarnation, played by Matt Smith, his TARDIS becomes damaged and crashes in the backyard of young Amelia Pond. When he pops out of the TARDIS, surprising the young child, he asks her for an apple and claims that's all he can think about. Question number two. How many episodes of classic Who aired before, uh, prior to the movie with Paul McGann? One more time, that is, how many episodes of Classic Who aired prior to the movie with Paul McGann? The answer is 694 episodes. Classic Who had 694 episodes with 154 different serials. All right. Number three. Professors Yana and Thaskalos were aliases used by which villain? Your options are... Uh, Daleks, the Master, the Silence, and the Great Intelligence. More time. Professors Yana and Thaskalos were aliases used by which villain? Again, your options Daleks, the Master, the Silence, or the Great Intelligence. The answer is the Master. Professor Yonner was introduced in the Season 3 episode Utopia as a man who was trying to save the remainder of the people left in the universe. However, when the Doctor arrives, it sets loose memories locked away inside his fog watch, which reveals to him his true identity. Afterwards, he goes back to Martha's time to become Prime Minister and take over the Earth. Question number four. Which volcano does the Doctor and his companion watch explode in Season 4? One more time. Which volcano does the Doctor and his companion watch explode in Season 4? Answer is Mount Vesuvius. In this episode, Donna and the Doctor land in ancient Rome, but don't realize until later that they're in Pompeii on Volcano Day. When they realize this, the Doctor tries to leave to avoid disrupting a fixed point in time, but Donna is determined to save the people. After finding out that the activity of the mountain is caused by an alien, the Doctor realizes that he is in fact the cause of the volcano eruption, which uh, when he and Donna must destroy the mountain and thus the city in order to save the Earth from the alien invasion. Uh, fun fact about that, if you've ever seen that episode, um, you may recognize the 12th Doctor as one of the citizens of Pompeii. Okay, question number five. What enemy do the Doctor and Rose face in the episode, Rose? Okay, one more time. What enemy do the Doctor and Rose face in the episode, Rose? And the answer is... The Autons. Rose first encounters these aliens in the basement of the department store she works at when the doctor takes her hand and says, run. <laughs> hey, David, I'm all right. How are you doing? <laughs> okay. And let's get right along here. I need to be able to see my comments. Hold on just one second so I can move this window. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, let me see, where was I? Okay, that was question number five. Okay, question number six. What is the most invaded planet in the galaxy? Again, what is the most invaded planet in the galaxy? 
The answer is Tivoli. Uh, their anthem is actually Glory 2, insert name here. And their cities are designed to be comfortable for the invading armies. <laughs> okay, question number seven. How long was it between the air dates of the finale of the last Classic Who series, Survival, uh, and the premiere of the new Who episode, Rose? more time. How long was it between the air dates of the finale of the last Classic Who series, Survival, and the premiere of the new Who episode, Rose? Answer is 15 years. Survival aired on December 6th, 1989, and Rose aired on March 26th, 2005. Okay. Number eight. Head of scientific research at UNIT this cunning lady has met the doctor multiple times. She helped him deal with uh, small black cubes, the Zygons, and even the terrifying Daleks. Who is she? Again, yeah, that's head of scientific research at UNIT. This cunning lady has met the doctor multiple times. She helped him deal with small black cubes, the Zygons, and even the terrifying Daleks. The answer is Kate Stewart. Uh, Kate Stewart was the person described, uh, River Song was Amy and Rory's daughter and didn't face the shock free while, uh, although Martha worked at UNIT, she never dealt with the Zygons. Kate Stewart was the only person who fits the description. Kate Stewart was played by Gemma Redgrave in the revived series of Doctor Who from 2012. Okay, question number nine. When the Doctor meets Amelia Pond... What is it that he eats and actually likes? Number nine. When the doctor meets Amelia Pond, what is it that he eats and actually likes? The answer is fish fingers and custard. It's the only thing he did not spit out or call evil or bad. Although, in my opinion, the uh, bread and butter scene was the funniest when he throws it and he's like, and stay out. <laughs> Question number 10. What episode did River Song first appear in? What episode did River Song first appear in? Answer is Silence in the Library. Silence in the Library was the first one of two parts when the doctor is trapped in a library with Donna, a group of archaeologists, uh, bursts in, and one of them introduces herself as Professor River Song. Um, that was a that was. Like, the end of that when she tells him, you know, that she knows his name. Like, that's pretty cool. So, number 11. What are the first aliens we see in this episode? Talking about silence in the library. What are the first aliens we see in this episode? Okay, this is, uh, the answer is uh, Headless Monks. Although the Cybermen are one of the first alien species seen, the Headless Monks are technically the first as they were behind Madame Kavarian when she was taking Melly. Number 12. Which one of the following is given the nickname Potato Heads? Santarans, Daleks, Ood, Cybermen. Again. Which one of the following is given the nickname Potato Heads, Santarans, Daleks, Ood, or Cybermen? And the answer is Santarans. We learned this in the episode named The Poison Sky. Number 13. Which of these was not the name of a Carrionite? Mother Doomfinger? Mother Scaretoe? Mother Bloodtide? Or they were all Carrionite names. Which of these was not the name of a Carrionite? Mother Doomfinger, Mother Scaretoe, Mother Bloodtide, or they were all Carrionite names? And the answer is Mother Scaretoe. Uh, one Carrionite in each family is given the special gift of a death touch. They can kill with a single touch to the chest. Doomfinger has the ability. 
Lilith is the only one in her family who can take on a human form. This means she manages to blend in a little better by looking less like a witch most of the time. Mother Bloodtide is the first to demonstrate their ability to fly. She drops from the ceiling to attack Wiggins. Okay, number 14. According to the Doctor, what are the Jadoon? According to the Doctor, what are the Jadoon? The answer is Police for Hire. These Police for Hire are menacing monsters with tough, leathery skin and heads that strangely look like a rhino's. They're hunting down a murderous uh, plasmavore who's pretending to be a human on uh, and hiding in a hospital on Earth. Number 15. What did Cassandra claim she was the last of? What did Cassandra claim she was the last of? Answer, human. She was the last of the humans. A uh, couple of quick Cassandra facts. Uh, she claims her father was a Texan and her mother was from the Arctic desert, but she also talks about when she was a little boy. Uh, two, uh, let's see, when the doctor first meets Cassandra, she'd had 708 operations, which resulted in her looking like a trampoline. Uh, when she's disguised as Rose, Cassandra carries a perfume bottle filled with a spray that knocks people out. Uh, Cassandra has a surprisingly good knowledge of computers. Uh, she loves banned technology, including teleportation and psychografting. Uh, a side effect of all Cassandra's cosmetic surgery is the constant need for a special moisturizer. Moisturize me. Uh, nobody knows her precise age, but Cassandra thinks she doesn't look a day over 2,000. What's up, Brady? Uh, let's see. Uh, when Cassandra jumps into other people's bodies, she can tap into their emotions and feelings. Uh, she's been married at least five times, and there are many unconfirmed rumors about her early life, including a career as an actress and her involvement in the deaths of many of her husbands. Okay, moving on. Question number 16. What particles did the Empress need to release her babies? Again, what particles did the Empress need to release her babies? Huon par particles. Huon particles. The doctor thinks that the only remaining remnant of Huon energy is hidden deep inside the TARDIS, but the Empress has been making Huon particles using the River Thames. Okay. Question number 17. Which of the following was the werewolf scared of? Your options are mistletoe, bees, holly, and butterflies. Which of the following was the werewolf scared of? Mistletoe, bees, holly, or butterflies? The answer is mistletoe. Throughout the centuries, the werewolf had been trained to fear mistletoe, so the doctor used it to defend himself. Okay, question number 18. Who didn't travel through from the parallel world. Who didn't travel through the para from the parallel world? Um, answer is Rose the dog. Um, <laughs> so uh, if the strange desire to control an army of metal men ever comes over you, comes over you, uh, here's how to do it. First, you'll have to get caught by the Cybermen. Next, get upgraded by having your brain surgically removed and inserted into a cyber suit. Most people would stop before they got this far. Uh, three, practice your marching skills and work your way up the cyber ranks until you're second in command. Wait for the, cyber, the current cyber leader to meet a sticky end, then download the software, upgrade patch, and enjoy the power. <coughs> Number 19. Who did the robots travel through time to find? Who did the robots travel through time to find? Answer is Rene Poisson. The beautiful Madame de Pompadour made sure that the doctor could return to his TARDIS through her fireplace. Remember that episode? Uh, it was, there was like the, the constant ticking sound, and that was the robots. <coughs> Okay. Mm -mm -mm. 
All right. So uh, we're going to do the final question here. Um, so let's see. Christmas Invasion. Okay. In the Christmas Invasion, the Doctor and Rose return to London. Who is the Prime Minister at the time? In the Christmas Invasion, the Doctor and Rose return to London. Who is the Prime Minister at the time? Answer is Harriet Jones. We first met her in Aliens in London. All right, guys. That's all 20 questions for the Doctor Who trivia. I hope you had fun. hope you enjoyed playing along. Uh, next month, we'll do something different. So uh, I'll look for you guys then. Uh, until then, I will uh, definitely see you guys around the shop.